Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the B10 HD, and yes, I am back doing Microsoft and Windows videos for you guys. Everything is squared off, and I'm extremely happy. And why not start it with Windows Server 10 technical preview? Uh, the build is 9841. Yay, awesome! There's a bunch of new things that Windows 10 uh, Server Edition. Uh, has I mean it's just ridiculous and I actually have a list of stuff that I already noticed and I will do some future videos on how to how to configure it install it and what's the deal with it but this is a kind of like review of Windows 10 uh, server technical preview and the first thing that's new with the new server is Active Directory uh, Federal Services uh, ADFS which is right here I got it already installed and now includes new features that enables you to configure your ADFS to authenticate users stored on LDAP now if you don't know what LDAP is a lightweight directory access protocol directory so that's pretty awesome uh, I think in future video um, I'm planning to do a how to how to install and configure your ADFS within your infrastructure uh, how to create a self-signed SSL certificate uh, you could always go to like a third-party vendor to get a certificate, but I'm going to show you guys on the next video how to do that. The next thing is, I believe it or not, uh, Windows Defender is now installed and enabled by default with the Windows Server Technical Preview. Uh, but the user interface for the Windows Defender is not installed by default. Now, Windows Defender was actually it's actually introduced within the Windows user desktop platform never on the server side but now it is introduced with this particular server uh, the Windows Defender will automatically uh, update anti malware definitions and protect the computer without the user interface so you don't even have to worry about it if you need the user interface for Windows Explorer you can actually install it and add it as a role and feature so I already have it installed and you guys already already familiar with this because this is what we seen with Windows 8 and also Windows 7 so you don't need to worry about this because Microsoft will be updating this and keeping all the definitions up to date so you don't have to worry about it but if you are a person like me that wants to know and configure the settings hey you could actually install the the GUI which I'm gonna show you guys in a future video so don't worry about that uh, the next thing is remote desktop services added support for OpenGL and OpenCL and I actually have that installed I got a couple of the services and roles installed for the remote desktop services and they also added multi point server to services as a role in Windows Server so a lot's been added with the remote desktop set it, set, uh, services that I just cannot go over this video with you guys but in future videos again I'm gonna go over all that beautiful goodness uh, the next thing is Storage services now enables you to create storage uh, QoS. If you don't know what QoS stands for, it's quality of services. Policies on a scale out file server and assign them to one or more virtual disks on a Hyper-V virtual machine, which that's extremely awesome. So you can actually assign um, more virtual disks into your Hyper-V without shutting it down and it's, everything is seamless. So I need to test that out. Uh, the next one is functionality of failover clustering. Uh, Hyper-V or scale-out file server failover cluster can now easily be upgraded without any downtime or need to build a new cluster with nodes that are running Windows Server Technical Preview. So it's no more shutting down your machine to do a failover. You can do everything behind the scenes without the users at the office or in the LAN being, you know, they won't even notice that uh, the servers shut down at all so I, I need to test that stuff out for you guys uh, the latest web the latest web version of web application processes uh, focus on new features that enable publishing and pre authentication for more applications and improve user experience so it looks like IIS has been revamped and it's actually IIS 8 Ooh, pretty new, cool uh, was uh, I don't I don't recall was Windows Server 2012 running IIS 8 or IIS 7 I think it was IIS 7 I'm not too sure about that uh, Windows PowerShell has also been um, advanced uh, with new features now includes support for developing with classes and new security features 
that extends its use, improve, in, improves its usability and allows you to control and manage Windows-based uh, environments more easily. Uh, I am a huge PowerShell person, especially when it comes to, into manipulating and creating or doing whatever you need to do with Active Directory. I find myself using PowerShell a lot more when it comes down into creating a, a massive amount of user accounts or uh, manipulating securities or adding users into a specific group. So I love PowerShell and I'm pretty excited to see what else PowerShell 5.0 kind of brings with the new server. Uh, the next thing is Hyper-V. Hyper-V is real huge and it was introduced I believe in 2008 and uh, on, the, on this preview, uh, rolling Hyper-V cluster has been upgraded. Uh, this is a huge feature that customers have been asking for for many years. It now allows Windows Server 2012 R2 server clusters to be upgraded one node at a time in a mixed mode configuration. So those are the kind of things that I noticed. And one last thing when I was poking around Windows Server uh, 10 edition, I noticed this new application which is pretty awesome called Steps for Quarter. And I was blown away with this. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to show you guys what it really does on the next video. But this is just a quick review of some of the things that I noticed or some of the new things that Windows 10 Server Technical Preview has brought out. There's, I mean, the stuff that Windows, when Windows Server 2012 came out, it was like, oh, awesome. Now when Windows 10 is like, oh my God, this is awesome. This is all the stuff, it, it looks like Microsoft listened to us with all the complaints that we had, all the feedback that we had with Server 2012, and they took all that feedback and added it with Windows 10, and they're still building it, so it's pretty awesome. Again, I think this is the first build that they came out with. Uh, this is actually build 9841. If you guys are testing out Windows Server 10 technical preview, uh, leave your comments below. What are your thoughts? How are you using it? Uh, if you want me to touch base on any particular uh, role or service, Leave your comments right below because I will do my research and do the video request for you guys. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. And don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video a lot and it helps me as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.